I've been thinking a lot about miracles, and the reason I'm doing this is um, because I often think of miracles as being something that God does without my help. It's something he does possibly because somebody asked something or because someone needs something. And, but as I've looked in the Bible recently, I've begun to realize more and more that miracles often involve people because God often gives us a chance to be part of what he's doing. And that gave me a, a whole different thought about uh, what's going on now. And so I'm doing this partly because I've done a lot uh, looking forward to what's coming, and yet I think there's more I can do. I think there's more God would have me do, um, but he's showing us some unusual ways to become involved in a project that he feels is very important. And as I looked in the Bible, I was reminded of a couple miracles. One was the feeding of the 5,000 where God took a little boy who had a lunch, and he used that lunch to feed many people and to do a big, enormous task. And then there was the one that's not quite so familiar with the prophet Elijah, who came upon a widow who needed to pay her debts and asked what she had, and what she had was oil and jars. And so God instructed Elijah to have her collect all the jars she could find. And they filled the jars with the oil that she had, and then that was sold, and her debts were paid. And what God did with those miracles was he asked, he allowed them to have the privilege of using what they had, give it to him, and then he multiplied and did with it what he wanted. This is an unusual uh, type of sacrifice that uh, I've been thinking about, but it's one that um, I believe will help me understand what it's like to give uh, even our most important things to God and to trust him with those things and the outcome with him and not worry because we have a God that can be trusted with whatever we give him. And so I'm looking forward to seeing what happens. With Alice Miller, who is the pastor's wife. Uh, Alice, first of all, welcome. It's great to, to see you. And you are making the sacrifice as well, aren't you? Now, I would assume his pastor's wife is someone with a sounding board. When he has an idea, he comes to you and he says, hey, I got this idea. And sometimes he might smile and nod. Sometimes he might say, uh, what are you thinking? What kind of idea was this when you heard it for the very first time? Actually, there was a whole committee that made that decision, and I wasn't on the committee. <laughs> but um, I have been in a position where I felt led to do something myself, and maybe other people haven't. So I know what that's like to experience um, urgent for God to do something. And so uh, I understood. We can't hear you. And, and so, you know, it was something that I prayed about and asked what God would have me do. I decided that this was a, a good thing to do. This is something that I thought he wanted me to do. Encouragement and the unity um, of the church family and, and the committee, and, and I'm happy to do it. This is his daughter and daughter-in-law. And the grandkids are coming soon. Yes. 